When young people are convicted of a criminal offense, judges will typically ask for an evaluation from a social worker, psychologist, or psychiatrist. This so-called predisposition report will help the judge decide what kind of sentence to hand down. A young offender can be ordered to serve time in a reception center in open or closed custody, but there's no guarantee he or she will be treated for the problems which led to the delinquency. Reception centers aren't, or detention facilities aren't, hospitals and their goal is not to treat their goal is to uh, to detain and help uh, sort out any problems they have but not specifically psychological uh, problems even if it's a young offender that, that uh, is found guilty of doing the killing there's no pres legal presumption that he is mentally ill if the youth court judge receives a report which indicates the young person might benefit from treatment the offender could be brought to a psychiatric hospital, but only if he or she agrees. If they consent, and many do, experts say they have the best possible chance of getting to the root of their problems and solving them, even if those problems led to murder. This is Unit F2 at the Institut Philippinel Secure Psychiatric Hospital. The clients, as they're called, are all boys aged 14 to 18. There's another unit for young women. Some are here for evaluation to see if they're capable of standing trial. Others are here for treatment, which usually lasts two years, sometimes longer. All were sent by juvenile court judges for violent crimes, rape, assault, attempted murder, and murder. Contrary to adults who kill people that are close to them, most of the time you'll see them sad or even suicidal. When you meet young murderers that killed family um, family members or people that they were close to they look cold and that's uh, uh, accepted everywhere in the literature that uh, adolescent murderers they are not easily uh, touched by the, um, the murders they committed and it, you have to know that the treatment does not necessarily mean regularly scheduled psychotherapy sessions Basic treatment here involves living with other people, learning how to get along, and remedial education. Some initially don't want help, but they soon find they're able to succeed at learning. That gives them self-confidence, and they progress. Their teachers say education includes helping the teenagers to return to society and stay out of trouble. At a given moment, we might stop, and one of them will talk about a problem he had upstairs in the living quarters. So we stop, everyone talks about it. We draw some conclusion, and then we get back to work. That's part of the treatment. Woodwork is part of the treatment, too. The troubled teens approach their projects the way they approach life. Some constantly ask for guidance. Others keep to themselves and never ask for help. Here, too, the young people gather their thoughts and find positive feedback, sometimes for the first time in their lives. It's good uh, for concentration yeah. and uh, motivation. Does it make you feel good when you finish something? Uh, yeah. How does it make you feel? Uh, like I'm uh, like accomplishing something. The woodshop instructor says their work reflects their personalities. Son comportement, son agressivité, sa passivité, sa dépendance. On travaille tout ça à travers les, les pièces. The key to treatment is forcing the young people to face themselves. They have adapted in some ways, and the way they have adapted has brought them to Pinel, has brought them to a violent crime. So we say, let's look at what you do. Let's look at the way you react to life, and let's try to change what is going wrong. It is a painful, long process. A personality which takes 14 years to build can take years to rebuild. Thorough treatment is not possible unless the juvenile commits a serious crime. So usually we'll ask for the kid to stay here two years, but you see with the present law, to ask for a kid to stay two years here at Pinelli must have done a very big thing. There are juveniles brought to court for lesser crimes who are in just as great need of treatment. The judges are bound by the norm in sentences, and not as much as they are for adults, but they're still bound by the, uh, the nature of the infraction the young person pleaded guilty to or was found guilty of. He can't say this young person, although he's only stolen a chocolate bar, 
obviously can't function in society. And using the young offender's law, sentence him to, to two years of detention in, in Pinel if the young offender consents. Tomorrow, we'll look at the reasons why teenagers commit murder and the warning signs of trouble. Howard Schwartz, Pulse News.